what up everyone <laughs> what's going on guys you tune into the sweet tunes of the f fomo verse channel i hear austin a fellow f member <laughs> what's up guys it's austin fomo verse radio sax host oh, i'm man. just uh over here with biz savage we're just making it right for you guys today yeah yeah i love the one thing i love about the the f room the fomo versus how how people are coming together being active sharing talents and stories and and yeah just it's, it's forming into a good community um of individuals and the energy um how about you also what do you love about the f so i mean i i didn't even know this thing was going to come out i mean it just like all oh, of a man. sudden Pac was just like yo we're gonna drop this f like tomorrow and then everybody was in there and then they're all waiting and then he's like oh no we're gonna do it the next day oh yeah and yeah. so i'm just like okay like you know i'm used to this you know uh -huh. so uh i mean i had like 20 different windows open i was nice. at home nice. i was like all right my buddy's calling me like right as the drops popping i'm like where do I go? And then you seen Pac, he's like <laughs> posting the, the link, you know, to like go to the website and you're like clicking. And then yeah. for me, it showed that like I was too early or something. Yeah. Like I yep. clicked it and it was like, you're too early. Sorry, you missed it anyways. And I was like, <laughs> what? And then I was like, okay, let me try something. I like refreshed it. I like bumped the gas fee and then boom, I like got it. Got somehow. it. Nice. Yeah, I think um, the beautiful thing I want to say, too, is that I think you only need a little bit of ash in your wallet. You didn't even need a crazy amount of money um, just to support Pac. And if you had a little bit of ash and you made it on time, you got one of these thousand, uh, one thousand, what's it, one, two, three NFTs? Yeah, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four uh, is the total amount. There may be more, we'll see. But um, it was it was accessible if you follow Pac. So I think this is always cool to re uh, reward early support, reward loyalty. You know, you're rewarding people that's helping you build your foundation. So that's what I see this as. And and obviously, these people out there are selling their FOMO. My FOMO is not for sale. <laughs> so it's, it's speculation out there. But um, building the community, build the metaverse. It's, there's a lot of things rolling out. What are you what are you excited for in the in this NFT metaverse space? Me personally? Yeah. Uh I mean for the metaverse, I mean you you're seeing like Facebook and all these like companies coming in. Yeah. Um you know, I feel like they already have the capital and the money so they're just going to like expand <laughs> it and like let all of us like do our thing on the metaverse. I mean I think if you're early with like NFTs and crypto, like, you know, the earlier you are in the game, the better. So, yeah. you know, if you can like try to collect like as much as you can, uh, I know like some people they're like, Oh, I spent three grand. Like that's all I got. You know, that that's awesome. You know, like people are like, so diehard about this. Like there's just like a really strong following and like a community for the NFTs and, you know, I, I think it's really cool because they're like super transparent and it's all like built on the blockchain. So like you can prove that it's real and you know that it's there like digitally because it's all in the code. So, yeah. Yeah. I think it kind of like when you were talking to remind me of Ready Player One. Yeah. It's like like these big corporations come in. Yeah. And then we, we all have our our FOMO NFTs like mm -hmm. no. It's a squad of, like the movie 300. It's, we're coming in. They're yep. like, who, who is this squad? Yeah. Over <laughs> we got like our own little meta group, you know, already. Like they're trying to be here and we're like over here and we're like, no, yo, like we, we built this. But yeah, you know, yeah. we ain't letting you take over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's some cool people in FOMOverse, man. It's an F. There's like, you got a little bit of everything. And I've, I've really see the value in community, you know, community coming together, resources coming together. And uh, Pac was even saying like he, he at first he was creating for a community. Now he wants to create with the community, yep. you know, and it's, it's cool and it's empowering when you can shift the narrative, you know, and, and for 
the cool thing about Pac and having Ash, you know, having his old token, you know, he's, he's really changing lives. If someone put a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars into Ash, now it's like 40, 50 bucks a token. For someone that only lives off of what, $400 a month, that's, that's changing their life like overnight. Um, so, so crypto is a space where this borderless currency, if you adopt, if you use it, just take, you know, a little bit of time and use it, you're going to change your life. Um, so I did want to talk about the a 3D saxophone. So I want to do a 3D drop. And it may, how do you feel about if we did a drop on Solana? Because I, um, I'm thinking that Ethereum and even Poly is looking interesting, but Solana is getting a little bit easier, especially with these gas fees. So I've never like explored Solana and please forgive me. Cause like, I don't know about Solana cool. NFTs or even like Polygon NFTs or mm -hmm. Tezos. like, yeah. Like I was talking to Ortega yesterday and like, honestly, that was like the, the first time I really like dove into it. Like I've looked at, you know, Tezos, the whole bunch and yeah. Like I used to have Tezos and like I sold it all before I, they yeah, even me, me before they even like started building on it. And I was just like, I was all salty. I'm like, uh, oh, I sold my Tezos. I'm not gonna get on that platform. And you know, I just I'm I'm like, okay, like I'm fine with it now. Like, yeah, you know, I'm like if you buy anything with like Ethereum, I feel like your fee's gonna be like a hundred, two hundred dollars. Like yeah. last night I was trying to make a transaction. And I set my gas fee manually <laughs> and it's still trying to push through. And I'm just oh, like, man, wow. man, like, I don't know wow. if I can just, do you know, do you know if I can just like wait and it'll just like hit it one day maybe, or I mean, yeah, you know, so for, well, for me, I tried to, I think I tried to get an ENS domain. It's like something with it and it just froze or no, I was trying to mint a buffer corner. Sometimes trying to mint and it just didn't go through. So I sent more ether there. Like I think I just sent more and then finally processed it. Um, so either sometimes you got to send more gas to cover something or you can send, try to cancel it, send the nonce, cancel it and then retry with the automatic gas. Um, but it's, it's tricky right now with Ethereum, just getting transactions to go through. But I mean, if you cancel it, is there a, is there a chance like, you will like have like lose some gas like you're gonna have to like lose yeah. some ethereum from like it'll canceling like, the transaction yeah it'll be like ten dollars ten or twenty something small like that but yeah you'll use a little bit of gas trying to cancel it um Gosh. so yeah ethereum 2.0 whenever that's coming but um the, so the cool thing about tezos and solana is they have those secondary markets there so they have you know the art there they have the companies there they have the collectors there which shows, you know, that they're going to be around for a long time. Um, and, and me personally, I'm chain agnostic. You know, I'm like, everyone's looking at Ethereum. They're looking at Ethereum's contracts and then they're building something else. They're saying right. that, that we're going to be Ethereum killers, but they're still looking at Ethereum. Right. You know? So is Solana, is that built on Ethereum? Do you know? No, no. So they're all, they're their own blockchain. Like its own blockchain. Yeah, Solana's its own blockchain. Tezos its own blockchain. Um, but Solana's NFTs, I don't know if they're the best. They're they're good. Uh, use right now. They're probably going to get better. You know, their their first rollout, they did a good job. Um, they have like three or four good markets for NFTs on Solana. I I've seen some hype. Uh, they have like some alt eight projects oh yeah there's some eight projects and uh punk projects on soul yeah and recently um have you seen those funks p-h-u-n-k-s i've heard of them did they come out yet so they're out but okay. uh it's on this website because i guess they like delisted them on OpenSea. they're called uh the website's called not larva labs.com oh yeah yeah i remember that no, yeah yeah and it's just basically like a flipped punk yeah and i know like andy milanakis there was like a couple people mm -hmm. um big players that were getting into it okay. my buddy told me about them 
I don't know. I was just like, man, I'm, <laughs> I'm like so deep into NFTs. Like <laughs> I can't even get any more right now. Like, it's, please, yeah. please yeah. don't even tell me about any of oh, them. Man. Now the, um, and so for me, like the good thing is <clears throat> I'm big into Terra Luna. So like Terra Luna, I love how they're flushing out their DeFi and their, their security, their insurance. Like they really have a lot of things in their tokenomics and economics. Like the whole ecosystem is really strong. The foundation is really strong. And I can see that in Solana, like they're getting their DeFi, their exchanges, their DEXs. So they have a strong uh, foundation for their token and ecosystem. So I'm like, okay, I can use Solana. Yeah, I see everything's being built out. They're getting more developers coming. So I'm starting to feel more comfortable minting and uh, investing or using Solana's uh, blockchain. Yeah, it's just one of those things like, you know, I think to get into something like that, you just have to really just, you know, look into it. Like, like I was saying, you know, uh, Tezo, Soul, you know, yeah. Polygon, I think you just got to kind of dabble in all of them and just, you know, and especially like if there's low gas fees and stuff like that, you're not having to pay like, you know, $200 for a piece you're trying to set basically give away you know the, the fee is going to be like 200 times more than what the actual piece is oh man yeah i am so it looks like on open sea i can do a free mint and i can mint i want to make some 3d saxes uh-huh and i can just do it on open seal polygon and there we go yeah that looks like i can do it so you would just have to pay like polygon fees or what no it's free so it's free to mint it um, and it's free to send, so I can mint them, and I can send them out. It's all free. Oh, that that'd be dope. You know, I feel like that's pretty, like exclusive. Yeah. Um. I see. I've never like messed with anything like off off Ethereum. So, mm -hmm. like for instance, if you made it on Polygon, right, and had it yeah. on OpenSea. Uh huh. Let's say you sent it to my eth or no 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 could you send it to my eth address or do you have to have like a polygon wallet i know i can it's i can send it to eth because it's kind of layer two ethereum so it's built okay okay they built the bridge so i'll i log in with my metamask meant it on my ether address and i just switch networks um actually now i'm on ethereum mainnet so i'm on mainnet and the token's polygon but it's still ethereum mainnet right now so they, they made it easy so you can interact with both on OpenSea. So that's pretty cool. Let me see. That's yes, interesting. So I, okay, so we'll do that. Um, and what I'll do is, so should I should I just make like one, two, three, four saxes, or should we just allow people to claim them? How would you like whitelist them to claim them? That's cool. Yeah. How, how would you do something like that, though? Whitelist to claim. Hmm. Maybe through Twitter, it kind of got a. Or. Or you could like send them to people on our F chat. I mean, it, okay. it, it's kind of hard because like somebody on Twitter could say that they're part of it. Yeah, that's true. You no, know? that's true. <laughs> Everybody on this oh, F goodness. chat, I'm like 99% sure that they have it. But yeah, you know, totally, it yeah. it was weird because uh, Lord, something Lord. There was this dude in our chat the other day, Lord, <laughs> come up, Truffington, Lord, <laughs> and uh, I like clicked on his role status, uh -huh. and he didn't have FOMO, <laughs> but he had like a uh, moderator status. I see. So he was able to enter our chat. Hmm plot have, thickens have you seen that no, i've i haven't seen that did you know that was a thing i think there's a few other roles i think siblings have a role and it might be a moderator. i didn't see that moderator role though so he had like a little one and like a little uh like a teal blue name okay and so his he, name is lord truffington <laughs> so he may be a sibling I know Pac loves the siblings. So there's like an actual siblings role? Like if you just have a siblings or what? That's what I think. I'm about to buy a sibling and find out. I think there's a sibling role. 
Man, I, I'd like to have a sibling too. I just <laughs> I feel like I got FOMO for siblings. I got some, yeah. Yeah, there's um and the, it's interesting because like the siblings are they're a good community. Yes. Yeah. Every once in a while, somebody will come and try to sell one for like 0.05 ETH. And they're like, we gotta sweep the floor. It's like, what are y'all who's who has siblings to sell that low? That's crazy. Yeah. That that's like goes back to and to what I was saying, like some people they'll spend like three grand and like that's all they got, and they're like barely trying to get by. Yeah. Like it, it's pretty risky, you know, if you're doing something like that. So, you know, kind of like going back to like the stocks and crypto, yeah. like only invest as much as you can like lose. And yeah. my advice would be like, don't put money in there that like <laughs> you need to pay the bills and stuff like yeah. that. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely only do don't extend yourself don't stress yourself right out. you know have fun yep. um so yeah so we're gonna i'm gonna start making that and i'll i'll share like sneak peeks of the saxophone oh that's so awesome um man. and you know just kind of my i want to contribute more to this community and having fun and you know sharing things with others that's too cool man cool all right so um, I think, anything else before we wrap up um so before we wrap up a uh, bit savage um so i got like three people three more people lined up for the show uh -huh. so this is a formal invite if you would like to come on my show it's probably okay. going to be in december or uh -huh. january sometime okay yeah I, I love to come on i'm better in the daytime you know, okay like, um, 9 10 11 pst daytime time pm um a.m am okay okay i feel you Definitely. all right man well <laughs> well let's stay in touch send some previews and uh i'll have to get you on the show bro thanks for having hey, me man. appreciate the time thanks for uh, being part of f let's have some fun hey thanks bit savage we'll see you bro all right.